So in the last video, we covered making organic parts in Alibre, but now let's work on making threads and other helical features. Let's do it. Now in Alibre, let's get started by selecting the XY plane and creating a sketch. And then I'll make a circle. This will represent the main shaft of the bolt. I'll give the circle a diameter of 0.5. I'll make the bolt be a 0.5 bolt. And then I'll deactivate and extrude. And with extruding, uh, I actually like the default five, so I'm gonna leave that. So we've got a five inch shaft, half inch around. And now I'll create a sketch on one end and add one of my favorites, a hexagon. I'll put a hexagon right in the center of that, right? And that will, will of course be our bolt head. I'll make one of these lines horizontal. And let's make this a 3 4th drive. So we're going to say 0.75. We'll deactivate. I'm going to choose to extrude this shape. And we'll go 0.25 for that. So we've got somewhat of a proportional looking bolt. But how do we start working on threads? Well, I would suggest starting by putting a chamfer on the leading end of the bolt. So we'll choose chamfer here. And we don't need a brilliantly large one, maybe something like 0.055 and apply that, right? And that's a good cut to start leading in with our threads. And then I'll choose my right plane or my YZ plane. And I'm gonna create an equilateral triangle. So I'll dimension this and we'll give this something like 0.05. I'll make sure that this line is equal to this line and all these lines are equal there and then simply add a horizontal. For simplicity, I'll choose a vertical constraint and we'll make this point vertical to the origin. And then uh, I'll grab this point and I'm gonna say 0.25001, right? And I add that 001 intentionally just so that it barely sits above our plane uh, that we're cutting on. All right. I'll take my thread I'll do a, a helix. Now, what is this helix? Well, as you can tell from this picture, we can cut on a spiral that moves up a shaft. And uh, of course we can add material or we can subtract material, uh, just like with extrudes and revolves and sweeps and all of that. So I'm gonna choose my subtractive helix because I want to cut the thread into the bolt. And I can choose an axis here so on my menu, I have this axis. I'll select my center axis. And there you can see we are cutting a helical pattern into our bolt. Of course, I want to change my height to something like four inches using most of the shaft as being threaded. So we stop at four inches up here. And then I want my pitch to be 0.05. Excellent. So we've cut the threads into a bolt, but as you can tell, our threads stop kind of abruptly. So do we have some options here that can help us with our threads? And I would say, certainly. First, I'll select this face and activate a sketch on it. And I'm simply going to import the edges of this face. So we'll project a sketch, we'll maintain association and say, okay. I'm gonna go with another subtractive helix. I'll select my axis. For height, I'm gonna say 0.9 inches. Our pitch will be the same, 0.05. But this time, I have the option to add a taper. And for tapers, I can say, do I want to taper the helix at a 10 degree angle? And as you can tell, the helix is now cone shaped and our threads become less as we progress. We can change this to a 20 degree if we'd like to be a little bit more abrupt, right? This is a more natural way to terminate the threads on a bolt. So I'm going to say okay to that. And uh, there we have most of a bolt. Uh, as a final touch, I can go onto my YZ plane and I can hurry and make something eh, a little bit basic, but kind of fun. I'll add in a spline here. And then I'll choose a line. 
in the interest of time, that's the shape that I'm going to go with just to demonstrate what can be done. I'll choose a subtractive revolve and uh, we can cut the top of this bolt off because as you know many bolts have a sort of rounded off uh, head to them and that helps with getting sockets on and off and things like that so uh, that sketch should be a lot more defined than it is in practice but there is a method to create a bolt with threads in a libre so that's how we make threaded bolts in a libre but there's a few more things we should cover with helical features let's do it in the next video